the one thing about the presidency is that uh, you, you can make only make decisions, you know, on the uh, information at hand. You don't you, you don't get to have information after you made the decision. It's not the way it works. And you you, you're, you you stand by your decisions and you do your best to explain why you made the decisions you made. Um, there have been disappointments. Abu Ghraib obviously was a huge disappointment during the presidency. Weapons of mass destruction was a significant disappointment. I don't know if you want to call those mistakes or not, but there were things didn't go according to plan. Let's put it that way. Anyway, I think uh, the historians will look back and they'll be able to have a better look at mistakes after some time has passed. I, I, I on Jake's question, there is no such thing as short-term history. I don't think you can possibly get the full breadth of an administration until time has passed. You know, where does the president's, uh, did the president's decisions have the impact that he thought they would? Or he thought they would over time? Or how did this president compare to future presidents, given a set of circumstances that may be similar or not similar? I mean, there's, it's just impossible to do. And, uh, and I'm comfortable with that.